in an alarming development that has sent shockwaves through the electric vehicle industry. Volkswagen, one of the leading pioneers in EV technology, appears to be at a crossroads. The automaker's CEO recently made an announcement that has left industry insiders and EV enthusiasts reeling. Could this be the beginning of the end for Volkswagen's electric ambitions, or could it possibly be a seismic shift that impacts the entire EV industry, potentially leading to the loss of hundreds of millions or perhaps even billions? In this video, we'll unpack this dire situation, seeking to understand how this automotive titan landed in troubled waters and the potential repercussions that this could have on its future trajectory. The shocking twist from Volkswagen is its decision to slow down EV production, causing furrowed brows and sparking a myriad of questions about the company's future trajectory. One cannot help but wonder how the company, which was at the forefront of the electric revolution, finds itself now shifting into reverse gear. What implications might this decision have on the EV landscape? At first glance, Volkswagen's current predicament appears paradoxical, given the fact that the broader EV market is flourishing with record sales across Europe, the US, and Australia, largely driven by the likes of Tesla. Volkswagen's challenge, it seems, is not an overarching reluctance towards electric vehicles. Rather, it seems to be a crisis specific to Volkswagen's electric vehicles. The German automaker recently startled the industry by announcing cuts in production and shifts at its Emden plant. The company's rationale was reportedly due to strong customer reluctance to purchase their EVs. Considering Volkswagen's ambitious past EV strategy, with the ID series leading the charge, this news is disconcerting. Despite Volkswagen's ambitious aspirations, the numbers paint a grim portrait of reality. Volkswagen has missed its sales forecast by an eye-watering 30%. This shortfall is all the more glaring when juxtaposed with the success stories of other EV manufacturers like Tesla, BYD, and Rivian. For instance, Tesla reported an impressive 83% year-on-year increase in sales for the second quarter of 2023, which speaks volumes about the growing customer demand for EVs. It appears that Volkswagen's EV offerings are not living up to customers' expectations, at least not when compared to those of competitors like Ford or BMW. What factors, then, are contributing to Volkswagen's financial and reputational troubles? Why the backlash against Volkswagen? The struggles that Volkswagen is grappling with appear to stem from a combination of factors. From one perspective, the company blames external factors such as dwindling subsidies, soaring electricity costs, and plummeting gas prices. Thomas Schaefer, the CEO, expressed his concerns about mounting costs in various areas, although he remained elusive when asked about the root causes of the crisis. However, insiders suggest that the company's inefficiencies and high production costs may be the real culprits behind Volkswagen's EV woes. Schaefer himself has admitted that the company is in a, quote, very tough situation, calling for immediate cost cuts, which suggests that the problems extend beyond just external market dynamics. The ripple effects of Volkswagen's production cutbacks have also started to affect its workforce. The company announced that 300 of the 1,500 temporary workers at the Emden plant would be let go starting August, and its dedicated EV factory in Emden will be shuttered for six weeks. This has raised questions about job security within the company and the broader EV industry. The layoffs, however, are just the tip of the iceberg. Volkswagen's financial stability is also teetering on the brink. Volkswagen's decision to decrease production in a bid to boost profits seems to be a crisis management strategy. However, if it continues to lag in the EV race, this strategy could backfire, risking its market share and even its survival in the EV sector. To compound its troubles, Volkswagen has been slow to roll out new models. The much-anticipated launch of Volkswagen's high-performance ID7 sedan, which was originally scheduled for this month, has been postponed. This delay could further erode the brand's appeal to customers seeking the latest in EV technology. It's apparent that Volkswagen's journey towards electrification has hit a major roadblock. But whether this turns out to be a fatal crash or just a temporary detour is something that only time will tell. As the German automaker struggles to navigate out of this predicament, the industry and customers alike will be keenly watching. Volkswagen's underperformance in the Chinese market, a critical growth sector for EVs, is another cause for concern. In the second quarter, Volkswagen only managed to deliver slightly over 12,000 battery electric vehicles, BEVs, a paltry performance, especially when compared to Tesla's staggering sales of 28,000 vehicles in June alone. Despite traditionally enjoying significant popularity among Chinese consumers, the German automaker was dwarfed, reduced to a mere tenth of its global competitor. 
which points to serious concerns about the company's prospects in the critical EV sector as competition intensifies. However, Christian Dalheim, VW Group's sales chief, remains confident. He believes that the launch of the Volkswagen ID.7 model will provide the beleaguered automaker with a much needed boost, anticipating a significant increase in BEV deliveries in the third quarter. But behind this hopeful facade, the numbers reveal a sobering reality. China's increasingly affluent consumers seem to be favoring other locally built battery powered cars, such as the Tesla Model Y or BMW iX3. This shift in preferences adds to Volkswagen's troubles. Additionally, reports suggest that Chinese EV buyers are not impressed by the model's software features and infotainment system. Furthermore, Volkswagen's first quarter profits plunged by a staggering 31%, down to 5.7 billion euros from 8.3 billion euros during the same period last year, despite a 22% rise in sales revenue. Despite these challenging times, Volkswagen is bracing itself for a strategic turnaround. Thomas Schaefer, Volkswagen's CEO, recently unveiled a comprehensive plan called Accelerate Forward, Road to 6.5, aimed at significantly increasing Volkswagen's profits to an ambitious 6.5%. The strategy is designed to secure the brand's growth and pave the way for future investment in new technologies, plant modernization, and staff training. While the company appears committed to a zero emissions future, with BEV deliveries increasing by 50% in the first quarter of 2023, the Accelerate Forward Road to 6.5 program signifies a shift in Volkswagen's strategy. Rather than offering a broad range of EVs, Volkswagen is simplifying its product offerings to maximize profitability. This includes reducing the complexity of models and the number of variants to optimize production. To put it bluntly, Tesla is giving Volkswagen a run for its money. Despite Tesla's own issues in China, it managed to bounce back and outperform Volkswagen globally, selling roughly 386,000 BEVs in the first half of the year compared to Volkswagen's 171,000. A shocking turn of events is the poor performance of Volkswagen in the booming Chinese market. Despite the current challenges, Volkswagen is undeterred and remains focused, especially on making significant strides in the Chinese BEV market. As the company navigates through these choppy waters, it is resolute in its commitment to not just surviving, but thriving in the face of adversity.